director of Dalmia Bharat with OCL India has been approved by the management. Remember, OCL India was a subsidiary of the company. Puneet Dalmia, the MD of Dalmia Bharat Group, now joins in. Hi, Puneet. Thanks very much uh, for joining in. Uh, to begin with, can you take us through what's the rationale behind this merger? And uh, also, if you could tell us what's the timeline for this deal as you see it. Sure. So this, uh, the rationale behind this merger is to create a single listed entity in the group and also simplification and consolidation of our corporate structure. In the last uh, three to four years, uh, Dalmia Bharat has rapidly built scale and size and uh, you know we grew, grew organically as well as inorganically and we had committed to the markets that we will create a simple structure at the appropriate time and uh, uh, we did this uh, very uh, seriously in the last uh, one year where we simplified the holding by swapping KKR into the listed company uh, almost a year ago and now we are uh, merging the two uh, companies uh, Dharma Bharat and OCL mm -hmm. which will create a single, single listed entity and also simplify the holding structure and consolidate all cement assets into one operating company which will be 25 million tons in size. All right. Uh, I'm the yeah. uh, uh, This will require shareholder approvals mm -hmm. and regulatory approvals. So I think uh, this will take about uh, five to six months. All right, uh, Mr. Dalmia. So congratulations, first of all. Uh, I remember the company being a two million ton company. Today we're talking about 25 million uh, tons. So a uh, fair bit of growth is what we've seen organic, inorganic as well. So congratulations on that uh, front. But um, Moving on then, there would definitely be some synergy benefits that we could look at. Could you tell us uh, how does this uh, make things look? Operationally, what kind of gains do you see? In terms of taxes as well, uh, is there any kind of benefit that will come because of uh, this merger? Sure. So I think uh, this will uh, definitely help us extract more synergies more quickly. Uh, we clearly see a reduction in uh, administrative costs and uh, SGNA. Uh, we also see that all brands will now be uh, held by one company mm -hmm. and uh, therefore uh, you know we can basically leverage uh, different brands which are at different price points uh, in various markets uh, more efficiently. So clearly this will uh, create more synergies in terms of uh, reduced admin overheads, mm -hmm. uh, more synergies in branding right. as well as uh, increased synergies in logistics. So even though OCL has become a subsidiary uh, about a year ago, yeah. uh, we are in the process of extracting those synergies, but this will just accelerate the whole mm -hmm. uh, synergy extraction process and make it more faster. All right, Mr. Dalme, then you must be working with some numbers. You know, I was just looking at your EBITDA button for OCL as well as Dalmia uh, Bharat. Uh, both of them, they're working between around maybe 1150 to around 1250 rupees on an EBITDA button basis. You're talking about a lot of synergies that are coming in. So maybe in the next couple of years, what is the targeted EBITDA per ton for this uh, consolidated entity? 25 million tons. So uh, I think we don't have any guidance as of now uh, for a firm number yeah. because there are lots of macro variables uh, which will impact this. Okay. Uh, one, clearly pet Petco prices and fuel prices are going up, True. Uh, which is a negative. However, we think GST will be a huge positive for the sector. Uh, you know, we expect that uh, uh, net tax rates might be lower than what it is today. Okay. And further, it will allow seamless movements of uh, goods across states and that is likely to reduce logistics costs. So I think there are macro variables at play which are going to be uh, fairly uh, significant in, in, scale, in size. Uh, but on the operating side, I personally think uh, this could the synergies could translate into uh, you know, 50 to 100 bips in terms of uh, extra margins. All right. Okay, um, but it's too early to give a firm number uh, as we are still uh, continuing to work on it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I think Dalmia has a, a debt of around 7,000 odd crores, while OCL is uh, net cash positive. So could you tell us what the consolidated balance sheet may look like? Sure. Our consolidated net debt uh, will be uh, somewhere around uh, uh, 5,000 crores uh, at the end of uh, uh, March 17. Mm -hmm. And uh, we expect our net debt to EBITDA to be below three. Uh, we also think that um, overall, uh, you know, we have laid the foundation 
uh, for a, a strong uh, upcycle uh, and we are fully prepared to leverage the benefits of the upcycle. We have laid a very strong foundation in the last few years and uh, we think that uh, we are fully prepared and geared up for the upcycle. We are currently running at only 58% capacity utilization mm -hmm. and as demand picks up and as uh, you know uh, volume ramps up, mm -hmm. the profitability uh, is likely to substantially improve. So we feel that uh, you know the best for the company is yet to come uh, and uh, we are fully prepared and we have laid the foundation for uh, leveraging the best possible upside in the coming few years, which we expect to be very healthy as uh, India grows uh, yeah. you know, and builds infrastructure right. and builds smart cities and builds roads uh, across the country. All right, uh, Mr. Dalmia, you know, you've been doing very well. The stock as well has been on fire. Both OCL as well as Dalmia, Bharat, both of them are done uh, maybe 150 to around 200 percent just uh, from the February lows. Now, you're saying you've geared up for, you know, more demand to come in, etc. You've moved from around a, a million and a half tons to 25 million tons in the last 10 years. What's the outlook for the next uh, five years? Is there some inorganic growth? Is there organic growth? What's the target? Fourth largest cement company already going ahead. Uh, are you looking to give uh, the top uh, three a run for their money? In terms of our future plans, I think uh, our first commitment is to Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. We are already the greenest cement company on the planet mm -hmm. and we want to continue to be extremely sensitive about our responsibility right. and our commitment towards sustainability. Our second commitment is to be a leading most profitable player in the sector. And uh, I think we want to realize this through a low cost and premium brand strategy. And thirdly, in terms of uh, size, I think our immediate priority is to sweat the existing assets. Okay. As I told you, we are running at 58% capacity utilization. Correct. And our immediate priority is to scale up volumes. Mm. But if you look at the next five years, I think there will be scope for further inorganic and organic expansion uh, based on the balance sheet uh, and based on the cycle. However, I can only say that um, you know we have been extremely aggressive in terms of uh, you know building scale in the last few years mm. and this is the time right now for us to consolidate and we want to pause right now to make sure that we consolidate everything that we've achieved mm. we lay a very strong foundation we make yeah. a very solid company yeah. and then we will you know further look at you know a rapid expansion in the next five seven years all right uh, mr dalme that before you go you need to give us a couple of details then uh, how's the pricing scenario that's playing out uh, i think you're predominantly in the south as well as the east part of the country so how's the pricing looking out there and if in case in the next five years you're going to be looking at some inorganic growth uh, then which part of the country will you be looking at will you stick to your core areas that's the the east the northeast as well as the south or do you think you're going to be moving to other parts of the country I think we have uh, concentration in three regions right now, as mm -hmm. you said, southeast and north northeast, yeah. and uh, we will continue to further strengthen our position in places where we have already made significant investments. All right. But ultimately, the plan is to build a pan-India footprint, okay. and uh, you know our presence in uh, north and central India is uh, weak, yeah. but we have uh, mining leases there, and there is scope for uh, organic growth, okay. uh, and if there are inorganic opportunities that present themselves. Uh, we will definitely take a closer look at them. So I think the ultimate goal is to build a pan-India footprint okay. with uh, organic as well as inorganic growth, mm. but without losing the focus on the uh, uh, regions that we have already invested in. In terms of prices, I think uh, second quarter uh, was a little weak mm. uh, because of monsoons, but uh, there is a seasonality effect. Yeah. However, we have seen very good rains, yeah. and we think that the demand should start picking up in the coming quarters. And as demand picks up, uh, usually pricing also firms up. And if we see the seasonality, uh, the second half of the year has better prices uh, than the second quarter. So I'm hoping that uh, we have good times ahead in the sector. Mm. And um, you know, uh, we are very happy that we have positioned ourselves very well to take advantage of the good times as and when they arrive. All right, Mr. Dalme, before you go, I'll have to quiz you on this one. Uh, are you talking to any cement company? I've uh, been in touch with a lot of cement companies in the south. There are quite a few that are on the block in the east as well. As of now, is uh, Dalmia Bharat talking to any company as of now? <laughs> I'm sure you don't expect an answer to that. No, I don't, don't expect uh, the name, sir, know, but in case uh, you, uh, you, you could but, uh, uh, say whether you're I talking you or not talking to them. 
you know, I don't think I can answer any question on that, but I can only say that right now we are totally focused on consolidating our existing yeah. presence mm -hmm. uh, and we are uh, focused on sweating our existing assets. All right, Mr. Dalme, always a pleasure talking to you.